Living in small spaces. What'd you do? Uh, I spilled your coffee everywhere. Well, at least put it in the cup. I gotta get my coffee. Mm -hmm, it's done. You have to make a new cup, so. Well, we were, uh, gonna, we're gonna make today a cleaning day anyway, right? Yeah, that needs it. If we kind of sort of look around the camper. Well, the bed's never made. Don't worry about that. Well, I'm gonna make it. We so got. Fold my clothes. We got all this stuff going on. What you can't see. Don't show them the dirt on the floor. Yep. You can't really see it, but even in her bowl, she has fur. <laughs> Everest eats herself. We're being attacked by Everest's fur. She sheds like crazy. So we're going to make today a cleaning day. A couple of the errands that we've got to do are vacuum. We do have um, shore power right now. And if we didn't, we would just plug in a generator and fire up our vacuum because we don't have one of those fancy battery powered ones yet. And then we are going to, um, oh, we got laundry. We got a big old pile of laundry. It's so big, it's just sitting there. We also have to dump our poopy tank. We won't show you all the gory details of that, but we're gonna do that as well. And we'll clean up the kitchen, which is probably gonna be first. With all the stuff going on over here, I'm gonna have to take the stove top off and get down in there where all that coffee is sitting down on the stove. Yeah, it's in there too. We'll clean out our fridge, we'll clean out our pantry, we'll make sure we only have what we need with all the stuff that we've got. And um, it won't be a fun day, but it will be an important day. And it is a day that you have to dedicate when you live on the road, otherwise you become a slob. I don't want to be a slob. Do you want to be a slob? No. Nobody wants to be a slob. Well, maybe some people want to be a slob, but that's not us. So we got some catching up to do on the housekeeping and we'll bring you along for parts of that throughout the day. day you know what that means gotta take all the sheets off we haven't done laundry since we got to Baja and a little bit before that so we've got almost a full month's worth of laundry it's hard to think about just over three months three weeks in Baja and I'm gonna grab things like the dog towel. Our floor mats are disgusting. I know first world problems when you wanna wash your floor mats, but they're pretty rough. Well done. I thought you weren't coming back from that. <laughs> That's a whole lot of laundry right there. We're ready. And we're gonna try to carry all this on our bikes to the laundromat. We're walking. Oh, we're walking? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that's much easier then. We're, we're going to walk into town with all this we're stuff. We're not going to put all this on our bikes. Okay. Unless we leash our bikes together and make a chariot. <laughs> I was like thinking, how am I going to do this on my bike? <laughs> but it's not going to happen. Heavy's, <laughs> heavy's ready to go. we got a 20 minute walk into town, so let's go. All right, let's, get let's do this. So we filled up 
four <laughs> washing machines. <laughs> we filled up four. <laughs> It is 140 pesos for the washing, which is kind of uh, It's under 10. She's not hooked up, but she's staying. Okay. So. Hmm? One, two, three, four. It's kind of just like in the States. So. She's got special coins. Uh, they fit in there. Interesting. So you buy those. The token for for the year. done. Now to clean the inside of the camper. A little bit of sweeping, a little bit of vacuuming. Oh, look at all this Everest. She's even in the shower. She didn't even go in the shower. is finally clean. It feels so nice to have clean floors, clean rugs, clean clothes, clean sheets. And I made the bed, put all my clothes away. We cleaned up the kitchen, cleaned up the floors. Crystal has put his clothes away. I beat him. <laughs> Usually I'm the one that has the messy clothes. Not folded, but mine are all folded and it feels amazing. It was uh, much, much, much needed. So hopefully some of what we showed you today helped you out, get you an inside look of tiny living in such a small space. So we are going to wrap it up today. We're basically just working the rest of the day. Nothing really too exciting. We have to get some work done before we go on our next adventure. Our next stop is going to be the Bay of Conception. It's going to be really exciting. There's no service out there, so we're trying to get all of our work done for this week. Get all of our videos uploaded for this week. If you liked today's video, please remember to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. And hit that notification bell so you know when we put out a new video. Good night, and see you next time.